Hi guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the biggest regret of uh, Muhammad Ali. He's my brother and my friend. I express what I know and understand around him, and then, but he has a mind of his own, an understanding of his own. I found out this uh, story about uh, the biggest regret of Muhammad Ali in uh, the book of uh, Last Pen, The Dead Are Arising, which is a very uh, good book, an excellent book about uh, the life of uh, Malcolm X. So Muhammad Ali, before uh, naming himself Muhammad Ali, uh, his name was Cassius Clay, uh, very famous uh, heavyweight boxer, and he started a friendship with uh, Malcolm X. This friendship lasted six years. During those six years, uh, Malcolm X taught a lot to uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, to Cassius Clay, sorry. He taught him about Islam, about uh, black emancipation and Cassius Clay really loved what he, he heard and they were in fact together as uh, brothers, not only simple friends. Uh, so Muhammad Ali, uh, Cassius Clay decided to convert to Islam and, and became uh, Muhammad Ali but he chose the, the, the Islam of the nation of Islam. Uh, Malcolm X was also a member of uh, the Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam is different from Islam. It's a kind of a sect based on the teachings of uh, Islam but with some additional uh, uh, story. So the, the founder of this Nation of Islam uh, was uh, Elijah Muhammad, uh, he called himself the prophet of Allah and uh, he said he is the messenger of Allah and Malcolm X believed that Elijah Muhammad was the messenger of Allah, prophet and Muhammad Ali also, once he converted to National of Islam, he believed that Elijah Muhammad was a sacred man uh, directly connected to, uh, to Allah getting the message, uh, the message from him but later on in his life, Malcolm X found out that this was a, a fake story. In fact, Elijah Muhammad had no connection with Allah, he was just a man creating a story and making, making it uh, become a, a religion. So Malcolm X decided to leave the National of Islam. And at the same time, once Malcolm X decided to leave the National of Islam, Muhammad Ali converted to Islam. So they crossed within two days. Malcolm X left, Muhammad Ali became a member of National of Islam. And the National of Islam was very angry uh, with Malcolm X and they tried to kill him. At the end, they, 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 they killed Malcolm X. So he was seen as the bad guy, the evil guy, uh, the traitor. And at that time, Muhammad Ali, since he entered in the National of Islam, he also thought Malcolm X was a traitor. So one day, uh, Malcolm X went to the airport and he met with uh, Muhammad Ali. He was very happy to see Muhammad Ali, so he came to see his friend, his brother, and he wanted to say hello to him. But Muhammad Ali ignored him. Uh, he didn't even look at him and he continued in his path. And that was the biggest uh, regret for Muhammad Ali because a few weeks later, Malcolm X was killed, assassinated. Later on in his life, Muhammad Ali found out that national Islam was wrong based on a lie and he converted to the true Islam. And at that time, he understood that Malcolm X was right. He was much more advanced in, uh, in his uh, path. A religious path and he felt a deep regret to have ignored his brother turned his back on him and Muhammad Ali 40 years later he wrote in his, in his uh, memoir that that was his deepest uh, regret he felt very painful to turn his back on, uh, on his brother Malcolm X and never had the chance to apologize since he he was killed. So I, I felt some emotion when I read this. I was like, 
sad. Uh, but at the same time, I think Muhammad Ali was is also one of the was also one of the the greatest uh, man in the, in his time. He had the humility uh, to share this story with, with us, to show that he was uh, regretful and, and and that he did something shameful. Normally, you don't uh, share this kind of thing to to, to, to someone because it's uh, indeed it's it's, uh, it's shameful. But he has the humility to acknowledge uh, his mistake, and uh, he bear this regret throughout his whole life. It was a, a burden for him. Anyway, uh, I think uh, this story was uh, had an impact on me, so that's why I wanted to share with you. It's coming from a book, uh, the book of uh, Les Payne, uh, The Dead Are Arising, an excellent book and I recommend you to, to read it. Thank you guys and I'll see you on my next video.